Today we're taking a look at the Las Vegas Aces vs Los Angeles Sparks match, which is happening on Friday, July 2nd, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. And if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. The Las Vegas Aces stepped onto the hardwood against the Los Angeles Sparks and earned the victory with a final of 99-75 in their last game. Las Vegas finished the game having earned a 45.7% FG percentage, 37 out of 81, and made 7 out of their 22 shots from 3-point land. From the charity stripe, the Aces converted 18 of their 19 tries for a percentage of 94.7%. In reference to grabbing rebounds, they earned 55 with 12 of them being offensive. They also dished out 27 assists for this contest as well as forcing the other team into 11 turnovers and earning 8 steals. When discussing defending, Las Vegas allowed the other team to go 34.1% from the field on 28 out of 82 shooting. Los Angeles distributed 10 assists and had 9 steals for the contest. Furthermore, Los Angeles pulled down 39 rebounds and offensive, 29 defensive, and had 3 rejections. Los Angeles finished the contest at 70.6% when shooting free throws by converting 12 of 17 tries. They also buried 7 out of their 24 shots from distance. The Las Vegas Aces look for their third consecutive victory on Friday when visiting the Los Angeles Sparks. The Aces defeated the Sparks on Wednesday 99-75 and improved to 12-4. Las Vegas was led in the victory by Jackie Young with 18 points. The Aces are tied for first place in the Western Conference with Seattle three and a half games ahead of the third place Minnesota Lynx. Jackie Young is one player who came through in this game. She ended up scoring 18 points on 8 out of 12 shooting. She played for 33-17 minutes played and totaled 5 rebounds. Young went 66.7% from the field and recorded 5 assists. One more player that was a determining factor in the matchup for the Aces was Chelsea Gray. She pulled down 4 rebounds in 25-26 minutes played. She finished shooting 37.5% from the field in the matchup by hitting 3 of 8, 6 points. When the game finished, Gray had accumulated 8 assists. Las Vegas will play this contest with a win-loss mark of 12-4 so far this season. They turn it over 12.3 times per contest and as a basketball team they commit 15.8 fouls on a nightly basis. As a team Las Vegas is pulling in 38.8 boards per game and has earned 337 assists for the season, which ranks third in the WNBA in terms of passing the rock. The Aces are connecting on 36.7% on 3-point shots, 83 of 226, and 84.0% from the free throw line. They currently have an average of 91.8 points per contest, first in the league, while connecting on 47.0% from the field. When they are on defense, the Aces have forced 12.4 turnovers per game while drawing 19.5 fouls. They currently rank 6th in basketball and allowing assists to the opposition with 308 surrendered this year. The Aces are allowing a FG percentage of 40.4%, 199 of 312, and they concede 35.8 boards per contest as a basketball team. They are conceding 28.7% from 3-point land and they are ranked 5th in the WNBA in points per game from their opponents, 80.6. 
Asia Wilson is the leading scorer and second leading rebounder for Las Vegas with averages of 19 to 4 points and 8.7 rebounds per game. Liz Cambage is the second leading scorer and leading rebounder with averages of 14.8 points and 9.1 rebounds per game. Chelsea Gray is the leader in assists with an average of 6.5 per game. Six players for Las Vegas are averaging double figures in scoring. With its loss to Las Vegas on Wednesday, Los Angeles fell to 6-9. The Sparks were led in the loss by Amanda Zawibi with 22 points. Los Angeles has lost two straight in four of the last five. The Sparks are last in the Western Conference. Injuries have taken a big toll on the Sparks as Neka Ogwamake, Chene Ogwamake and Maria Vadiva are out. When they last stepped on the court, the Los Angeles Sparks walked away from this one with a loss by a score of 99 to 75 when they played the Las Vegas Aces. The Sparks recorded 29 defensive rebounds and 10 offensive rebounds for a total of 39 in this game. They turned it over 11 times, while earning 9 steals for this game. The Aces had 16 personal fouls in this contest which got the Sparks to the free throw line for a total of 17 attempts. They were able to knock down 12 of them for a rate of 70.6%. In relation to shooting from distance, Los Angeles made 7 out of their 24 attempts, 29.2%. When the final whistle blew, the Sparks shot 28 for 82 from the floor which had them shooting 34.1%. The Sparks permitted the Aces to knock down 37 out of 81 attempts from the floor which left them with a shooting percentage of 45.7% for the game. They finished the game shooting 31.8% from downtown by shooting 7 out of 22 and finished the game at 18 out of 19 at the free throw line, 94.7%. Concerning cleaning the glass, Los Angeles permitted Las Vegas to collect 55 in all, 12 on the offensive side. My first betting advice is to pick Las Vegas Aces minus 15. Erica Wheeler was important for the Sparks in the game. She buried 5 of 13 for the matchup for a field goal rate of 38.5% and had one rebound. Wheeler recorded 13 points in her 29-38 minutes of playing time and tallied three dimes in the game. An additional player that ended up playing a role for Los Angeles was Amanda Zawibi. She walked away with two dimes in 29-30 minutes on the hardwood, and she knocked down 9 out of 20 from the floor. Zawibi walked away from this one going 45.0% from the field while notching 22 points and 9 rebounds. Las Vegas is 7-1 SU in its last 8. The over has cashed in 7 of the Aces' last 8. Los Angeles is 2-6 ATS in its last 8. The under has cashed in 4 of the Sparks' last 7. Los Angeles has been decimated by injuries with its leading scorer and rebounder Neka Ogwumake out injured as well, its second leading rebounder Chene Ogwumake. The Sparks have failed to cover the number in six of the last eight overall. Los Angeles has a record of six to nine for the year. The Sparks have committed 19.6 personal fouls per game and they shoot 73.9% from the free throw line. They are assisting teammates 14.7 times per game, 12th in basketball, and they turn the ball over 12.3 times per contest. Los Angeles has 1,135 points for the year, 75.7 .7 per game, and they collect 29.7 boards per game. As an offensive unit, the Sparks are connecting on 40.2% from the field, which has them ranked 12th in basketball. The Sparks defensively are ranked 6th in the league in PPG surrendered with 80.7. They have relinquished 17.3 dimes and 41.1 rebounds on a nightly basis, which has them ranked 3rd and 12th in basketball. The Los Angeles defense gives up 36.2% from downtown, 117 of 323, and their opposition makes 84.1% of their free throw attempts. They are able to force 18.7 turnovers per game and have allowed teams to shoot 42.6% from the floor, 6th in the WNBA. My second betting advice is to pick under. 
Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.